Have you tried using rickrack on your dresses or your projects? You all, this stuff is so much fun to work with. However, I've been getting questions about how to actually sew this stuff down. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to not only sew your rickrack down, but to also get a couple of different looks with it. So I'm gonna show you how to add rickrack to your projects. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways so that way you can choose the best method that you like. So <laughs> I'm going to show you with this really j large, I think this is actually called a jumbo rick rack, um, but I think it'll be easier for demonstration purposes to show you what these different techniques look like. Probably the most obvious way that you can use rick rack is by pinning it onto your garment where you'd like it. It could be at the hem of a garment or it could be on a pocket like I'm attaching it. I'm just going to pin it at a, at a couple of places. So to sew this on, there's a couple of ways that we can do it. We can sew straight across the middle here to secure the rickrack on, which is a perfectly fine technique, or we can sew following the curves. Now I'm going to sew this one following the curves and because it's jumbo, I'm actually going to use a zigzag stitch, um, but you can use either a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, and when it's sewn on, this is what it looks like. You can see that the edges here can pick up a little bit, but when you look down at the middle there, you can see where those zigzag stitches are. Now, if you really wanted to secure this down, you could just do two rows of straight stitches, one at the top curve and one down here at the bottom curve. So that's always an option. Now let me show you what it would look like if we sewed just a straight stitch right across here. So again, I'm just going to pin this down. and I'm going to sew a straight stitch across this middle. You can see here that I have that straight stitch going all the way across the middle. It is secured on there, it's not going anywhere. And you can see the difference here in how much it could actually pull up. So if you're curious about this pocket and how I'm going to deal with these edges here, I'm just going to fold them over. And then at this point, um, you could either do some straight stitches at the edges to keep them flipped down and then trim the excess off Or you can just press them in place and because this is a pocket We're going to be sewing along the edge anyways, so not a big deal if you don't sew the edges down at this point Now let me show you a different way to actually use your rick rack and this is probably my favorite way so you can see here I have my pocket piece, but I folded over the top a little bit so that it overlaps. Now, I could sew my rick rack right on over that seam right there. However, I'm going to place it just underneath. Like that. So that way I just have the little edges sticking out. And I'm going to pin that in place. And now that that's pinned, I'm going to straight stitch from one edge, back stitching here, coming over here, back stitching at this edge. And so when you're done, you end up with this scalloped look with your rick rack down here at the bottom. And if I flip this over, I've already stitched down the ends here. So I'm just going to trim away the excess. And then I can attach that to my dress. Now you can also add this effect to the hem of your dress. So let's say that this was the actual hem, the bottom of our dress, and it's already hemmed up. I can just go in and attach the rick rack to the bottom of my hem and get that scalloping effect all the way around the bottom of my dress, which is a really cute effect as well. And you can do it with any size rick rack. You can do it with a small, medium, or this jumbo one. Now let's say that you wanted to apply your rick rack to a neckline. 
Well, this stuff is pretty bendy, so you can always just apply it in any shape that you would like. I mean, it's really nice to use. So you can get creative with your rickrack. However, you can also use it underneath bias binding. So I've got some bias tape here. And let's just say that I'm applying this to the neckline of my dress like that. And we're going to pretend this is my neckline. I could just slip this rickrack right underneath that bias tape so that it's sandwiched between the fabric and my bias tape. And sew that all the way down for a little scalloped effect like that around a neckline or an armhole. I mean, you could really do this little technique wherever you want. You could even do it on your pockets if you wanted to. And it's really that easy to add rickrack on. So go ahead and choose your method. Let me know in the comments below which one you're going to try out first, or even if you just have a favorite method already, drop it down in there. Don't forget that every day I'm showing up here, there's also another amazing creator who's making a video about Project Dress a Girl. And that is today what Mandy made next right over here. So make sure that you check out her video. Show her some love. She makes some amazing dresses. And if you missed the kickoff video, definitely click here to get all of the details on hashtag Project Dress a Girl. Don't forget to post your pictures on Instagram and I'll see you all tomorrow.